It's time for BattleBox Mission 109. Let's check out what's inside this one. All right, folks, welcome back. Now, I just kind of quickly glanced at the stuff that's in this box. And I gotta say, this is a pretty cool box. I like this one. There's some useful stuff in this. Again, if you are a new prepper and you have nothing, this isn't the way to start prepping. This is for someone who's a little more experienced, who likes getting a couple of cool things here and there every month. Some of the stuff from BattleBox, I've actually worked into my bug out bags and my survival plan, a lot of it actually. And a lot of it I've been able to give away to friends or help friends out who, you know, trade and uh, barter with for other stuff. So it's definitely got a purpose in it, but it's not for the brand new prepper who has nothing. Don't think you're going to get everything you need to prep in a battle box, okay? A good start would be food and water first. So I like to say that before any subscription box. They're fun, but they're not necessary. It's a good way to kind of augment your gear, but it isn't a way to build up your entire preps. So you know how these work? They come in tiered subscriptions, okay? So there's the uh, the basic, the advanced, the advanced, the pro, the pro plus. And you go up every month in a certain amount of what you're willing to pay for a box inside. There's always more value in the box than what you're paying. So if you're paying like, say, 45 or $50 a month for the basic box, you're going to get more than what's inside the box. You're always going to get something more than what you get, what you put out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this off with the basic box. I'm going to take the items that are in the basic box out first and show you what's inside. All right, so we're going to start off with the basic box, and this is a pretty darn good basic box, actually. The first thing you got in here is the Hot Snot Fire Starter. Not only a cool, catchy name, but it works really well, too. I already have some of this stuff, and I've tried it in the channel before. And this stuff catches real easily, works very, very well. Basically, it's a fire starter in a tube. This is perfect for your emergency kits, your campfire kits, stuff like that. You're going to open it up, and you will use the top, I believe, to pop the thing there. Use a little sharp edge like that. I'm going to put some down in the back of this little alcohol stove I made. And we're going to light it with a lighter, but it will light with a ferro rod just as easily. And there you go. So as you can see, this stuff is no joke. It will burn, okay? It burns very, very, very well. So that's going to be the first thing in here. It's kind of like a toothpaste material. You can light it with a match, lighter, ferro rod, whatever. This is 100% made in the USA. So good stuff. Next up is your Rapid Mini Rope Kit. This thing is awesome, and the rope in here is pretty cool, too. This makes it very, very easy when you're trying to deploy some uh, cord or cordage or rope. Uh, this is 1,100 pounds strong, tensile strength on this. It is kind of an unusual kind of rope. It's not your typical paracord. It's thicker. So you'll just pull it out here. There'll be a little rubber thing back here. You want to push that out. You'll take it back here, cut it to size. Super sharp. Does the job right there. When you're done, you just kind of wrap it around there and hold it. So this stuff is really cool, too. You get 70 feet of rope in there, 1,100 test cord. Easy to deploy, super convenient way to carry your rope around with you. It is weather resistant. That is a shatterproof container. So this is perfect for your car camping, your RV, your ATV, or whatever. It weighs about 14.5 ounces. It is small enough to fit in your backpack, and you got that built-in rope cutter. Makes it real, real easy. The next thing from here is going to be something that I actually need to kind of study because, again, I'm a city boy. I grew up in New York City. I don't know animal tracks. I don't know any of that. This thing here is flashcards for animal tracks. So, I didn't open it up yet, but I'm definitely going to go look through this thing and uh, learn my tracks because we have a lot of wild animals out here, and I could, couldn't tell you what they look like. So, here they are, basically. That's what your mountain goat will look like, okay? Okay all through here and at every stop here they go through the age and weight using your thumb to determine the age and the weight of the animals cottontail rabbits okay so you see this is really really handy that is a river otter now if i saw that in my yard i think it was some kind of large cat of course i won't see a river otter out here but you get the idea so these are very very handy if you're not familiar with tracking game uh, and also just not familiar with what's wrong walking around your neighborhood at night um, there's a lot of stuff that comes out at night that we don't see here and very very handy to use they are um, 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches they fit there in there easily in your in your uh, in your backpack if you needed to uh, keep them with you 
54 cards in there, 37 animal cards and 7 family cards. That will tell you, those cards there will tell you the family of the animal that it's in and what, what it would look like. And there are skill cards in there. There are 10 tracking and awareness cards that will teach you observation and critical thinking when you're looking at different tracks. So these are great for camping. Maybe something to do when you're out with the kids, you know, camping on a weekend. Teach them a survival skill and you got it right there. Okay. Next up, this is probably one of the most annoying things that can happen to you in the outdoors, okay? You get poison oak or poison ivy, and these wipes here are lavender and grapefruit RX wipes. They will treat you after exposure, okay? Let's get it open here, show you what they look like. I'm gonna open one up just to see what it smells like. Okay, it shows you all the ingredients on here. These are very, very handy because what they will do is they remove the urosol oils and give you peace of mind instead of itching like crazy. Let's see what they uh, smell like. Mmm, they actually smell pretty good. And I would imagine, given all the ingredients in there with lavender and everything, that it might be good for um, even just your regular itches, your irritations and stuff. Anything you discover, like I had a, I don't know what the heck got me here irritated the other day, and I was scratching away, and I'm like, oh, wow, I drew blood scratching. So, yeah, this seems to do a good job. It wasn't, uh, wasn't any kind of poison oak or ivy, but definitely very cool. Tossing a few of these in your backpack and your bug-out bags and bug-out gear would definitely save you a whole lot of headache. All right, let's move on now to the advanced box. All right, if you've been with me for a while, you know what's in that box. <laughs> it's the Holzman's Neck Knife. Now, um, Nate Holzman's uh, Gorilla Survival makes amazing knives. Really good not too expensive, but very high quality. These are D2 blades, G10 handles. I'll show you what's inside here. There's a bunch of stuff from him. I did open up the um, knife because it was in plastic. This is what it'll look like. Perfect little neck knife, okay? And he makes full-size knives too. But it's not often that you see a neck knife with a Tonto blade. I thought that was kind of unusual. Very comfortable in your hand. They're small, but they don't feel tiny. You don't feel like you're using a little tiny little knife. It is, of course, full tang construction. Very well made, D2 steel, super, super sharp. And that blade is just, can we shave hair with it? Yeah, we can shave hair with it. <laughs> There's the hair on it. So it definitely works well. You're going to get a free bonus gift of a clip for your pocket if you choose to do that. You got a little bit of a sharpener here for emergencies. I wouldn't use that on a regular basis. I'm going to pop a knife in here and see. Now, some people were saying it's kind of a pull to get it out of there, and it is kind of tight. I'd probably loosen it up a little bit, maybe take a hair dryer to here and loosen it up a little bit, but it is pretty good in there. Remember, you're going to be wearing this here, so you're going to be pulling down on it all day long. You don't want it to pop out by mistake, so it definitely works well. You do have a clip here in case you want to clip this onto gear, so you can put that on the back. There are screws included there, so you have a removable ferro rod holder on the side, and all of his knives do come with a very decent little ferro rod. So definitely a nice looking little set here. You can pop the ferro rod in there, loop it around and make sure it doesn't pop out. And there you go. Got yourself one heck of a neck knife, ready to go, totally ready for survival and preparedness. And the first thing I always tell people, if you're a prepper, first thing you wanna do is go out and get a good pocket knife and always carry it. I can't begin to tell you how many times my pocket knife has come in handy for just regular everyday tasks, not even survival. Okay, so you have a nice 3.25 easy grip, slip hand, anti-slip handle, help you get this thing in the right position. Very comfortable, reliable carrying knife for anything you're gonna be doing with it. Again, you got that awesome little ferro rod on the side. They're super, super sturdy. I have never had any of his knives come to me and have any issues like with the blade rolling or chipping or breaking. And I have tested them in the past just individually of the larger bushcraft knives and I've beaten the heck out of them. I still use them in the channel. They work great. So definitely a cool little thing. All right, let's move on to the next box, which is going to be the Pro Box, okay? All right, in the Pro Box, you are going to get something that I'm actually going to use in my vehicle as an emergency device or a product. This is the Kachula Adventure Blanket. Blanket is made by Coal Tree Industries. Um, let's open it up, take a quick look at it. There we go. And this thing is heavy duty, very well made, very thick. This also can be converted into a poncho should you need to. You do have a pocket up top here so you can put stuff in there if you need it. Um, it is eco-friendly, sustainable product, upcycled materials, 
Really nice stuff. Uh, it is soft brush nylon flannel, okay? And a durable ripstop nylon on the insides made from 100% recyclable materials. The size on this is 50 by 74 flat, okay? The weight on this is one pound, nine ounces. Now for care on this, you're just gonna spot clean as you need it. If you do need, you do need a thorough clean, you can do this in a uh, mild detergent in a, in, a in a washer and just hang it to dry. You don't wanna put it in anything like that and you don't wanna dry it. But yeah, this is definitely nice. This will make a nice emergency blanket for my vehicle. You can see you got that ripstop nylon on the inside. Definitely nice. I am gonna fold it up and kind of roll it up. So it's rolled up a little bit of a smaller package, but you got all your clips there. And this can be used as an emergency rain poncho through the middle. That's what I'm trying to find here as I dig through it. Let me, give me a second here and let me find it. Yeah, you would just drape this over you and use the snaps to button it around your head and you would have it around your head and it will covering your body. So it would make a really nice emergency rain poncho as well. But this is mostly going to be used for a blanket should I get stuck up on the mountain there in the cold and I don't want to run my vehicle all, all the time I'm up there. So let's move on to the Pro Plus box. That's the last item in here and I think you're going to like this one. All right, we are at the final item in the Pro Plus box and this is the Wii Banter. If you have seen Wii knives, you know they're of very good quality. I'm going to try and get it open here. There we go. You got a bunch of stickers and stuff there. Okay. You got a care towel there, microfiber cloth. A little bit of info on the knife itself and there are some other types of knives they have and of course the container here it's a little holder and this is really nice nice big holder there you could probably fit two knives in here yeah and this is the wee banter now what i like about this knife is it doesn't scream tactical knife if you have this in your pocket say at a workplace nobody's going to look at that thing and be like oh my god he's carrying a knife it's an oldie school kind of wood feel to it. Doesn't kind of look very threatening. Uh, it kind of would be at home at the office workplace or at home too. Very easy opening on that. It just flipped right open for me. Super sharp blade. Feel that blade on the end there. Take a look at it and I'll give you some information. Now the blade length on this is 2.9 inches. Your overall length is going to be 6.5 inches. Closed length is going to be 3.6 inches. The weight on it is 2.86 ounces. So it's very, very lightweight. It is S35VN steel. So a 59 to 61 HRC on it. Drop point blade. Okay. Flat grind. Liner lock in there. Very nice lock up on it. No issues with it whatsoever. Not going to fall out of there. It is a deep carry right hand or tip up stainless steel. It is reversible, by the way. That is reversible. So it is. it comes right handed, but you can always flip it over however you want. Uh, and it is a deep carry. You can see how deep it goes into the pocket there. Deep carry knife. The handle material is G10, okay, or carbon fiber or wood. You can get this in different ones. This is just some wood on it, and it really feels good in your hand. It looks slippery and slick but it feels just, just right in your hand there. And again, we'll use the, the sharpness test, and that is shaving hair. So right out of the box, that comes hair shaving sharp. So Wee Knives was one of the booths I checked out. I didn't do much of a video for them from SHOT Show, but I did check it out, and they have a lot of neat new stuff coming out. This is definitely one of them. I believe it's about $113 for this knife. So it's definitely a good deal all in all. Definitely pleased with it. So that is everything you're going to be getting in this month's Battle Box. It may not look like a lot of stuff, but this is very high value stuff. And all of this stuff would be useful for a preparedness-minded person. So definitely check it out. Uh, I am going to be probably using some of this stuff in the channel in the future. This is actually going to go in my vehicle, this blanket. Um, I wanted an extra blanket. I have a very light one in there that's really not that great. And I wanted an extra one that's kind of a little bit heavier. And uh, having it being able to convert into a rain poncho for if I have to go out and change a tire in the rain or whatever, definitely convenient. So definitely check out their gear. Again, my link will be down below. My link has the portal page for you and you will save money. I do have a discount code there as well. I have a 15% discount on all subscription products. It's Iridium 24. We couldn't fit the last two in there. So it's just Iridium 24, not 242. Okay, so check the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love unboxing this stuff because there's always cool stuff in battle boxes. That and Crate Club seems to me to be the best two boxes out there. So I thank you guys for watching today don't forget to check out all our links our amazon affiliate store down there um, again what's in that store is just mostly stuff that i've either reviewed or used in the channel if there's nothing in there you like just click that link bookmark it save it when you shop on amazon you'll go to my page search from the top really helps out the channel bring you cool stuff doesn't cost you anything all right below that our freeze-dried wholesaler link okay the link saves you 15 percent on all of steve's freeze-dried wholesaler food 
also awesome stuff down there just so much of a choice with everything so definitely check that out as well our my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com lots of cool stuff and great sales this month too so check them out and of course thrive life freeze-dried food store don't forget them as well i thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me today stay safe and stay prepared <laughs>